Evening, it's uh, or should we say good afternoon? It's a deal for Zalhe Market Analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading day, Tuesday, 12th September 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see where we stand in terms of the markets. The uh, stats here, FTSE down, mainly due to the inflation figures, down 12 points. The DAX up. Very surprising, given the fact that Shobel certainly was hawkish today, okay? Uh, although we didn't have much European economic data really to uh, to actually uh, react to, uh, we certainly had the uh, the euro still is currently below 1.2, still touching or approaching the 1.2. Draghi didn't actually talk the euro down and refrain from doing so. Whether he was relying on the fact that the US dollar would bounce and the fact that Mr. Mnuchin now is talking of tax cuts. Um, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard to read between the lines, but I've certainly got it wrong. I certainly went short European equities and I've been stopped out multiple times this week. Currently sitting on 85 points this, or minus 85 points this week after finishing a, a, an impressive 200 plus 260 last week. So certainly haven't read the market right thus far, okay. Uh, whether that is uh, given the fact that uh, I was certainly looking for a top in US equities, uh, given the fact that... Um, uh, the tax plan certainly was put to put to put backwards. I was expecting Hurricane Irma certainly to hurt uh, the uh, GDP going forward, and therefore that obviously being a negative. North Korean concerns as well being a negative. Okay, so uh, Mr. Trump in total disarray, being negative given the uh, the actual investigation that was ongoing, etc., etc. Uh, either way, uh, economic data today from the U.S. certainly has been impressive. Jolts certainly coming in stronger. Okay, um, we also have uh, Red Book as well coming in line. Business optimism slightly increasing as well. Okay, so that certainly is the status quo. Very surprised at the strength in European equities, nevertheless. Now, let's look at the actual technical picture, given the fact that we looked at fundamentals and the stats thus far. Looking at the German DAX, it's certainly completed its inverted head and shoulders formation. It's reached that target of, uh, well, almost reached that target of 12,587 gap fill. So certainly looking for a reversal now, given the fact that we've reached the inverted head and shoulders target, which was 12,530. We reached that quicker than expected. Um, my understanding and my interpretation was that we were not going to reach that as quickly as expected. Okay, uh, but nevertheless, uh, I certainly was expecting consolidation initially. Um, I was expecting the euro really to plunge down to 1.17 in the back of Mr. Draghi talking the euro down, and therefore that would have been the catalyst for the uh, for the actual your your EU equities certainly to rally higher. But that hasn't been the case. It's been exactly the opposite. Mr. Draghi failed to talk the euro down. OK, and uh, the euro really hasn't gone anywhere. It's still oscillating around the 1.2 level. We've had uh, Mr. Draghi lack of uh, ability to talk the euro down, and yet still European equities are moving higher. Whether you want to blame uh, or wonder whether you want to attribute that to the fact that insurance sector, the financial sector certainly has bounced back on the back of Hurricane Irma not being as bad or certainly being downgraded and not as being as bad as expected. I mean, there's a lot of theories out there. OK, but nevertheless, the price action is king and that's basically what is dictating to us at present. 60 minute chart at the moment, you're looking at gap fill resistance at 12.585. We have reversed now at 12.560. 12.530 was gap fill. Okay, so bear that in mind. We do have this bullish channel. We have to respect it for now. Okay, either way, have to respect it. Okay, let's see how this uh, unfolds. Again, you have multiple unfilled gaps. That's all I can say for now. Okay, multiple unfilled gaps below certainly are not healthy from a technical perspective, and those gaps certainly need to close. Now, Mr. Shobel certainly was hawkish today. Euro still oscillating around the 1.2 level. Let's bring up the Euro USD. Yes, we have a double top, but how long does that last? Uh, either way, we've still held this green candle or that was put in on the uh, Thursday the 7th. And you can see it's the 7th of September, and you certainly see we're consolidating here. Uh, looking at a four-hour chart as well. We've certainly held double top. Whether or not that's permanent, we'll, we'll certainly have to wait and see. Um, using the tr uh, diagonal trend line here, certainly broken that for now as well. Next potential support is below at 1.184, or we could obviously push higher. It just depends on the dollar index as well. Uh, let's see how the dollar index performs. Nevertheless, uh, this key support around this region certainly has held us far, and that certainly needs to be respected. And let's see, like I said, let's see how the market unfolds. Okay, if the euro starts to appreciate, expect European equities lower and vice versa. Again, we are waiting for Apple. Let's see what Apple uh, produces and. Uh, uh, results in and then we'll certainly have to uh, react accordingly everybody's talking about this iphone x at the moment okay from my perspective iphones are certainly inferior uh really yeah, it's ideally designed for um people that don't really want to think yeah, they are user friendly don't get me wrong but um given the hardware and the technology 
Sony is superior. Well, it's not a superior. Samsung is superior. Apple is inferior. But it's all about marketing. Okay. Either way, it certainly continues to exploit exploits its workers in uh, in China, and certainly is making a good profit. And that's all the uh, stock market cares about. Okay. So um, that's where we stand on the German DAX. My expectation is for for us to certainly uh, move lower and uh, look to potentially fill those gaps. I mean, the gap higher. Gap and go, gap and go on the German DAX has been very, very impressive, especially given the fact that they, they we certainly spell the end of diesel engines as well. You'd expect the uh, German DAX certainly to be under pressure. Nevertheless, that's the status quo with the euro approaching 1.2 or something around the 1.12 region. Let's move on to the French CAC again. French CAC, given the fact that we've got lack of concern, well, certainly lack of labor reforms, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Macron's, um, uh, shall we say, uh, popularity level certainly is plunging. His uh, credibility certainly is on the rocks from my perspective. And yet this market still rips higher. Okay, so very, very impressive. The German DAX move higher. Everything else will move higher regardless. Now, we certainly close the gap at 5,220. So certainly looking for gap fill there. Looking to reverse back down to 5,170 for the gap below. So certainly looking to short the French CAC. Uh, any opportunity that I can get. Any catalyst that I get. That's bearish. Fundamentally, certainly will be jumping on the short CAC bandwagon. Okay. You certainly have the unfilled gap below as well, looking to target that. Okay, look to target the gap at 5176 and then the gap below at 5114. So this certainly is vulnerable for my book, in my book anyway. Certainly looking for um, downside price action. In terms of the FTSE 100, now the FTSE 100 will certainly weak on the back of weaker inflation figures. Having said that, it still is defending that level at FEM 387, which is very impressive. Nevertheless, looking for that gap to close at 7377. I'd expect that, well, I would certainly expect that gap to close today, but that hasn't been the case okay we certainly go put up higher very impressively again uh, on a tuesday touching that 7434 level before we reverse sharply and lost all our gains okay so again my target would be uh, 7377 on the FTSE 100 okay that's my target okay so i think that really is a summation really of european equities a stronger inflation from the uk certainly does bold uh, uh, certainly negative for the FTSE going forward Okay, certainly looking for further downside action, looking to test that 7380 zone again, and then obviously eventually 7360 potentially test this diagonal trend line. So you are capped at resistance at 7435 with stronger inflation, certainly dragging the FTSE, and the FTSE is the weakest link. GBP USD at the moment certainly has um, pushed higher. Uh, daily chart certainly looking very bullish, although having said that, you are looking at a potential top here. Okay, so my understanding to certainly be exercise some caution given the fact that we've rallied from 1.28 up to 1.32. I mean, also almost a 400 pip rally on cable. That's very impressive. But if this continues, and you are looking for gap fill at 1.36, so let's see how this uh, this uh, market unfolds. Okay, certainly is negative for the FTSE given the fact that you have a stronger currency and therefore it hurts exports. Okay, either way, I think that the video is long enough now, folks. I think that's a good wrap. My summation and conclusion really is European equities looking weak from my perspective, looking top heavy and looking to reverse lower and look to target those gaps below. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye now.